Planning to spend time on the water this Memorial Day weekend? Expect to see the Coast Guard and other first responders out patrolling. They're asking you to follow the law. Please be safe while boating. News for Jack's reporter Ashley Harding went out with the Coast Guard today as they show us what goes into an emergency rescue drill. Here in Northeast Florida, we are lucky to enjoy time on the water no matter what time of year. But when scary stuff goes down, these are the men and women ready to help you. I've got a great crew with me. Um, these guys are highly trained professionals. I've seen them in action. Petty Officer Second Class Thomas Avaney will be patrolling this Memorial Day weekend. Lucky for us, we got to go out with him and his crew, and we watched as they demonstrated a rescue drill. So he's going to go to full speed. There goes Oscar. From that first man overboard signal to the moment the person is pulled out of the water. This is the real deal. Obviously, the goal is to avoid something real from happening. Avani says that starts with having a very high frequency radio on board. So cell phones, we all know, even with the best provider, you're not going to have excellent service 30 miles offshore. Whereas a radio, and again, there are limitations with radios as well, uh, weather dependent and whatnot, you're going to have a much better chance of survival having a radio on board. And when it comes to drinking and boating, the blood alcohol limit for a boater over the age of 21 is 0 .08. The same is for a person driving a car. Consider it your warning. The crew will be watching. We do monitor to see, okay, is someone bow riding? Uh, that means sitting on the bow of your boat, especially underway at great speed. That's very dangerous. Uh, blowing no wake zones. These are all indicators that, okay, there's a high likelihood that there's drinking taking place on that boat. And you always want to be absolutely certain that you've got a good life jacket. You want to make sure it's bright in color. That makes you more visible on the water. Also make sure that it fits really well. Take a look at this one right here that I have. All you have to do is pull the string and it inflates. One thing you absolutely need to be certain about, though, is take a look right here. You want to make sure it's got a Coast Guard approval number. That's how you know it's legit. And have a life jacket for each person on board. And no matter what, have a good time, but use common sense and take what these men and women say to heart. That's why we love having the media here and having you guys put out this message. It, it encourages people to be your own first responder, uh, step up for yourself, protect yourself, and set yourself up for success. That way you're not constantly relying on other agencies and other departments and all of our local guys that are already busy as it is. Making sure you stay safe this holiday weekend today and every day. In Jacksonville, Ashley Harding, Channel 4, The Local Station.